I know there's been some times maybe where they've completed the starting five all game and maybe easy to get a little bit frustrated, but you feel like now you're finally starting to show what you bring to the table and, and you know, not only setting the stage for us this year, but maybe next year too. I wouldn't say I ever get frustrated. I support everyone in the starting five. They're all my brothers. And um, it's up to me to prove that I'm able to play. Um, Monday through Thursday is up to me to prove that I can go in there and be just as good when those drop off. So um, I'm working to prove that every day. And I'm going to show them that I can do it. Are you more comfortable with guard or tackle, or does it matter? Uh, it doesn't matter. Play wherever. I'm trying to get on the field. So Coach Lee, I think, said maybe you had some injuries during camp that held you back. I mean, did you have to kind of work your way up to where you are now just because some injuries? Yeah. Um, I had an injury bug, I guess, recently. During the spring, I got hurt. And then um, fall camp, I, I got a concussion. I was out for um, about 10, 11 days. Um, but I'm, I, I work my way back. And I'm going to keep working, keep getting better. I guess, how do you get yourself to be in a position to play either guard, tackle? I mean, how different are those positions? And how do you get yourself in a position to be ready for both? It's definitely different. Um, and just like film study, film study you got to focus on the and the tackles. You want to know what both of them are doing. You got to know what to expect. But like just playing the game, um, it's from reps to practice. I get reps at left tackle, left guard, right guard, right tackle every day. So I, like, I just work to be able to go in and play at a high level at, at every position besides center because I can't snap. But like, um, I just want to be ready to go at any, at any time, anywhere. You, uh, you played defensive tackle your freshman year of high school, I think, right? Yeah, I did. <laughs> do you feel like that helps you at all, even though it was just the freshman year? And I know they, uh, Coach Colstad moved you, but do you, do you feel like that, that helps you at all? Honestly, not really. It, um, yeah. I didn't start playing off the line until my sophomore year. So, like, I was, I feel like I was kind of behind technique-wise. And I definitely learned that even more when I got here my freshman year. I was really behind with technique and just knowing really what to do and knowing, like, off the line play. So like, of course, I don't blame him for it, of course. Like, but I just, I wish I started playing off line way earlier, because it takes a lot more to be good at it, like fundamentally and technique. You're a guy that's also really embraced the the Paul journey and uh, internships with Adobe and Cisco last spring. Where did you go? What did you do? Why? You know, what, how was? Why is that important to you? Uh, I think it's extremely important because like, football is going to end for everyone and. I'm going to have so much more life outside of football. And it's so important to me that I'm prepared outside. Like, my mom always, like, always told me, like, I'm not just a football player. I'm a man outside of it. I'm, I'm a son. I'm a brother, everything. Um, so, like, I want to focus on, like, myself outside of it. I want to be successful. I want to have a great job one day, great family, you know. And um, with my internships, it just set me up for success. Like, uh, with Adobe, they were both online, Adobe and Cisco. But um, I was able to present a project. It was like a 12, 10 minute project in front of like 10 to 15 executives at Adobe. And then um, same thing with Cisco. And it was like great. It was just great experience and getting ready to like for that real world. Thanks. Syracuse came in with a pretty good run defense and you guys pushed them around a little bit and kind of had your way. What was that like to dominate on the ground like that? Uh, it was great. The Those guys up front, um, the starting five did a great job. Um, when I came in, um, I, I tried to do the same thing too, but they definitely did a great job. Um, we It was starting off with Coach Austin's um, preparation. He gave us a great plan, and we did a lot of work because they they move around a lot. They twist, they stunt, they pick, they do a lot of different things. And um, Coach Austin really got us prepared for that um, through Indy and through um, everything that we do in practice. And then it was just about us going out there and going to play and going to um, complete the task at hand. How hard is it going into a game kind of cold in the middle of it as an offensive lineman? Because I'm guessing, again, they're moving all around and you haven't had those reps. Um, how do you keep yourself ready to, to go in? Every, before every time I go in, I get um, Brian Tucker, and I end up like simulating plays before. Um, so like I'll get him to – if I'm going at guard, I'll get in my guard stance, he'll be like the defensive tackle, and we'll be on the sideline doing stuff. And then going at tackle, I'll switch my stance, he'll do stuff. So I just like – yeah, it's not it's difficult, but like we can't be any excuses why I don't make a play or like why I give up that tackle or give up a sack. Like there's no excuses. So like I have to be ready to go whenever it is. So I'll just make sure that I'm ready when my number's called. Yeah. So I think Blake had a false start and basically switch. So mm -hmm. like 
did, had you already done your like warm up reps? With- and that situation, no. Um, when it's like sudden change like that, I, I can't get any um, warm up, but I just got just gotta stay ready, stay ready, stay ready, get ready. How do you grade yourself on uh, what you did Saturday? Uh, so I had six plays Saturday. I gave myself a five out of six. Um, I knew one play. They ran a twist. Um, and we, ran, we were running outside zone. They ran a twist. Um, defensive end went inside. I didn't get to the linebacker. I would stayed too long. I turned my shoulders. Didn't get to the linebacker. So it ended up. I don't remember. It might have been like a one yard game, maybe no game. So my other five plays were good though. <laughs> they were good though. What do you think about what Blake's been able to do as a new guy coming in? Oh, he's spectacular. Um, that's that's my best run really. I I do like Blake a lot. But, um, He's a spectacular football player. Um, he's physical at a point of attack. He's violent. Um, he knows he uses his hands well. He's strong, biggest dude on the field. But um, he's really working on, like this week and last week, like controlled aggression because he wants to just get the guy right away. And he's really working on being patient and then like exploding on the dude. He, he's doing really well. He's only continuing to improve every week. And I'm really happy for him. Is that what happened on the penalties? He just wanted to get a little head start? Uh, I can't speak for him what happened on the penalties, but he'll it'll get better for sure. Yeah. It'll continue to prove. Yeah, talking about playing <coughs> tackle. I think they call it a putty guy. Like a guy who can play mm-hmm. in position. I guess you take pride in being kind of a putty guy, a guy who can do all that stuff. I want to be versatile. Like I want anything to add to my arsenal of like playing ability and any reason like why I should be playing. Like it gives me just another. It's good. It's, I would say it's definitely good, and it's um. I'm happy to be able to do it. I'm well good going at any position. Just want to be able to help my team. Any questions on Zoom for Mitchell? Any other questions in here? All right. Thank you.